Hello. Welcome back and hello to everyone new. Today we're at the Patrika Gate here in Jayapur. It's our first full day, so we're super excited to finally be able to like get out and see the city. So this place is really close to our hotel, our apartment where we're staying. So we figured good time to come here. We came early in the morning, so hopefully we can get some good photos and everything. We heard it gets super duper packed, but we're at the Patrika Gate. Uh, I think it's one of nine gates here. There's originally seven that were built with the fort. And then an eighth one was built in like the 1930s, 40s. And this one was finally finished in 2016. But it's super duper beautiful. I mean, you can see it behind us right now. No, 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 no. Quite tall, quite massive. <laughs> we got some friends. There's also a lot of people skating around here, which is really cool out in front. Maybe we'll see some of that. So this girl over here is skating as well. Skating through all the letters. But you want to say hello, Pooja? Hello from Pooja. Let's go see this gate. Come, 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 come. So out in front, they're like still working on it. They got all this bamboo scaffolding going up and down. But lots of people here taking photos, like wedding couple photos and everything in the gate. And in a sec, you'll see why, but it's super duper beautiful. The colors. Some couple shoes there. So it's like almost eight o'clock now. We got here maybe 20, 30 minutes ago. And it was completely empty during that time. Just a couple people doing some photo shoots, but now it's kind of getting <laughs> a little packed. I think the best time to come here is definitely as early as you can. Six, seven, it'll be empty and everything. And then, of course, at nighttime, it's all lit up. We've seen some photos and videos of that, which looks super duper nice, so. But it's crowded. There's like hundreds, thousands of people that come here and kind of hang out. I think it's because it's so fucking hot here in Jayapur. It's been like 41, 42 degrees for us the entire time we've been here. And that's like 105, 106 kind of, so. Super duper hot. It did rain yesterday, so it's cooler, luckily. But it does flood pretty easily <laughs> out in front of our apartment it's all flooded too but you can see they're still working on it a bunch of bricks nice elephant sculptures So we were reading online, this is like one of the most like Instagrammable places and once you see it, it's like duh. Just because like all the colors and everything and there's murals and art all around on every side and then two doors on each side. So there's a door way over there behind them and then this, this kind of door here. Super nice place to take photos, but they, I mean, you got every inch of this place is super duper painted murals of different areas all around Jaipur, Rajasthan. So. And on the back side, here's all the skaters. Everyone's skating around, little kids and stuff. Oh, that one, that kid fell over there. But nice square and then another little fountain area over there it's a nice place to sit so I did read online this is like the biggest circular park in all of Asia I only saw one source so I don't know if that's true or not but it is a massive park we've walked around a little bit there's a huge fountain in the middle of it they do water shows there we saw some videos of that and it was uh, interesting to say the least don't expect like a las vegas water show or anything like that it's uh uh yeah they do like they project like a some youtube music videos and then they do the water show afterwards lots of people go there it looks probably a nice place to kind of cool off and hang out for the evening but yeah i don't know. just don't expect too much when you go see that <laughs> who's you gonna take these skating classes or what yes i'll be the oldest 
oldest kid. The oldest and the newest? Yeah. I've seen a few kids fall. You might also uh, fall a little bit, huh? But. Got some wedding shoots going here. I am girl. More wedding Super duper nice. Everywhere's painted. So if this gate is like indicative to the rest of Jaipur and like the pink city, the most famous part of the city, it's going to be super duper nice. Like we're, we're really excited to go to the pink city. Hopefully this weekend we'll kind of venture off and get to see some more places. We've had a tough time with the whole apartment thing and everything, but this is a refreshing reminder of why we did come here. So we're, we're going to be here for maybe two, three months depending on the weather and everything. It floods really bad when it rains. So if it gets too bad here, then in the monsoon season, we might kind of go somewhere else. And everyone keeps asking why we're staying here for so long anyways, just because you, they, like, you need like two or three days to see the main stuff. And then after that, there's not really too much left, but I enjoy staying in cities for a long, longer term. I mean, you can kind of become like more of a local. You can go to some more hidden spots and everything. You can see all the regular touristy spots, but then go to some maybe less known areas. I think this place is more for locals anyways. I don't think too many people come here just because it is further away from the main part of the, like the main touristy area and everything. So definitely worth it though, coming here. Huge, huge park. We're gonna go to the other side, give you a full view of the uh, of the gate. We can watch some of these kids speed skating around here. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I do like, like I'm impressed by how many green spaces and like open public spaces they do have here. Coming from like Nepal, Kathmandu, and even Poker. Poker has like not that many places either, but they have so many public areas where you can sit, you can hang out, you can do skating like this big big open area so it's it's nice that people can get outside and enjoy even though it's so hot because they leave these trees here and everything kind of shaded area and we've we've noticed over our few days here that Jaipur comes alive at like night time it's people don't really go out during the day it's just too hot so they everyone goes out at night time and like all the cafes are open till like two three in the morning everyone I, I mean people leave our hotel our or like our apartment at like 11, 12 o'clock to go out for the night and they don't come back until like three after everything closes. And it's just like normal coffee shops, cafes, pizza places that are open that late. But then nothing's open in the morning. It's all 10, 11 a.m. So kind of have to change your lifestyle if you want to live here. Just you have to adapt, I guess. But here's the entire gate. Very, very nice. A lot of people come here to walk and jog in the morning. We've seen a lot of people going around, but... I think we will definitely come back in the evening just to see this place lit up. I mean, and just a different charm, different kind of environment, seeing everything. So it is beautiful during the day, but I'm sure it's even more magnificent, like nighttime. So we're, we're excited to come back and see this. But they got another fountain kind of structure area. <clears throat> I'm impressed by all like the intricate designs and all like the craftsmanship on everything. These little elephants here. The amount of time and work and effort it goes into like building all this stuff is crazy so 
<clears throat> it's really cool to see all this different than like the architecture that I'm used to especially living in Nepal for so long Gatman do like all the old types of building woodworking and stuff like that a lot of the stuff here is like built out of stone and so just just different <laughs> which is it's refreshing to kind of come here and then see this like different type of lifestyle culture everything like even I've been living in Asia for a while now and like even I'm still getting culture shock here I forgot how kind of difficult it is to go to a new country where you don't speak the language I speak Nepali but Hindi and I, I thought I understood enough Hindi but there's just maybe 30% 25% of Hindi that I understand and then of course I, I just can't respond sometimes I try to respond in Nepali which some words cross over and they understand but it's usually like a mixture of Nepali and English and my own made up sign language to communicate with people which is it reminds me of when I first went to Nepal and traveling around to like other countries and stuff so it is fun but it, it's it's difficult at times being able like for example we've, we've struggled with uh, the apartment situation we had that horrible Airbnb and then we finally found a place which we moved into and it was like they're still getting it ready and everything so it was understandable but then we just never got any kitchen supplies we never got wi-fi so we were going out like every day two three days so we could go to get wi-fi and work and everything for puja and stuff so without having the language skills to be able to talk and say like we really need wi-fi it was super difficult just communication barrier but i think i'll, I'll try to speak i'll try to learn hindi try to speak more hindi and uh, make life a little bit easier especially since we'll be spending more time here in India, we'll be here for a while, so learning the language would be helpful. Even though, I mean, I mean, more people speak Hindi around this area, but once you get further south and other kind of areas in India, they just they speak their own dialect. So we'll see how how effective that is. But uh, for a little update about us, we found we got our place. We're finally settled in. We're kind of going off and exploring now. Uh, we don't have to go to cafes every day. The food, the food is super delicious. Really impressed by the food. It's also really cheap. You can get a lot of local traditional foods um, for less than 100 rupees and it's more than enough to like fill everyone up, fill the two of us up. So really impressed by the food, the culture. The only thing I really don't like is the amount of hustle and bustle, like the cars and people going everywhere. The cars are like nonstop honking. It's so loud all the time. It's ridiculous, it's just, people just lay on their horns pretty much, it's non-stop, so. Don't really like that aspect of it. Everything else, it's exciting, it's fun, it's rejuvenating, so. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it here. I don't know about Pooja. I think she's uh, adjusting. Let's see if we can find her. Find where she went and then ask her how she's doing. Oh, getting in the by the show. On the hunt for Pooja, I have no idea where she went. She ran away to take more photos, I guess, but what else? Yeah, we definitely picked the wrong time to visit here. <clears throat> there was a whole visa issue with Nepal. Visa expired, so I had to kind of leave the country, and we're... Rajasthan was close. Architecture excited us, so... We wanted to come here, but it's been way too hot. So don't come during this time of the year. Come during the winter. <laughs> come during when it's much more manageable weather and stuff so you can actually survive and get out and everything. But everywhere is air conditioning, so it's not horrible as long as you're inside all day. But if you try to go outside, it's almost just you can't even live here. Founder found her she's over there taking all her photos let's go there she is non-stop photos miss puja guru we lost you where have you been what have you been doing <laughs> Uh-huh. 
You're gonna have to speak a little louder. I already told all our friends about all the cars and everything, so it's super loud. You need to kind of be louder. I am taking photos too. <laughs> I said louder, not attitude. <laughs> we need more, <laughs> more volume, not more attitude. Is this place rejuvenating? It rem makes you excited for why we came to Jaipur, to Rajasthan? Yeah, for the architecture, colors, art, details, everything. Uh huh. And besides this, what are you looking forward to here? Nothing. Nothing? You're done with Jaipur? <laughs> She's done with Jaipur. She's like, we came to the gate, we can leave now, we don't need to see anything else. There's nothing else to see, I don't think. Of the pink city? Alright, go. Yeah. And we came here for shopping. Uh, I don't think we really came here for shopping. Window shopping, maybe. That's fine. We came here for food, architecture, culture, art. Art for sure. There's a bunch of museums here. There's like over 10 museums, so we'll probably. <coughs> excuse me. Go check out all those. There's supposed to be some impressive museums. One museum has like a Egyptian mummy from like 2300 years ago. So super duper excited about that. We'll see there and then see what else the city has to offer. We're gonna start making some friends too and uh, get kind of the local experience, get in the know. And we'll update you as we go. So yeah, that's all we got. Enjoy Prachika Gate and one of the biggest parks circular parks in all of asia don't quote me on that i'll go research that and let you guys know but that's all we got <laughs>